When I talked with some of the different parents about the New City Catechism, they talked about some of the questions and answers being super easy, their kids get them memorized, and when I ask how far they got, this is the one they get stuck on. Because that's a mouthful of an answer. The question is simple. What is the law of God stated in the Ten Commandments? And you're not going to be surprised what the answer is. Read it with me. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above or the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. You shall not covet. Now, we think it's super valuable for you to memorize the Ten Commandments. This is not the whole law, but often when we refer to the law, this is used as a placeholder. There are certain phrases. The Ten Commandments represents the heart of the whole law. Circumcision represents the sign of the whole law. So when Paul talks about circumcision and taking on circumcision, he's talking about following the whole law. And in the same sense, the value of the Ten Commandments is it takes uh, some of the core thoughts and values that shape all the ritual, all the practice and sacrifice, and says this is, this is the heart of God. And so it, it becomes a central piece. And so we feel like memorizing the Ten Commandments just gives you a great tool for interpreting the rest of Scripture. You want to understand what's going on with the law in the Old Testament? This this is one like the decoder ring you want to have on. Um, so it's super helpful in that regard, and getting a sense of God's justice and God's standard. Now the next slide has the kids' version, which is pretty close to the same, but it does drop a couple lines off. So it's slightly shorter. It's the same ten list, minus the explanations of all the different places we should not make our idols from just says don't do the idols. So I do want to give you guys some gestures. This is going to take a sec. And uh, we are videoing it, and that will be up on YouTube, so you can practice this one. Um, so some of this will be straightforward because I've taught you a couple signs, and I will keep using the same ones so that that goes easy on you. But we're going to say, what is the law of God? It says stayed in the Ten Commandments. I'm just going to do ten. All right? So what is the law of God? stated in the Ten Commandments. All right, that much you got. Now we got ten pieces we got to do. I'm going to do this for you shall not all through the whole thing. So you shall not, mm -mm, you don't have to make the sound effect, have any other gods before me. All right, so other gods before me. So that's our first one other gods before me you shall not make for yourself and for idol I'm just gonna have us worship something you got it so you shall not make things to worship you shall not it says misuse the name of the Lord your God what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you like pretend like you're giving your allegiance and then look away because that's more what it's about this isn't magic words we don't say Israel was taking God's name upon themselves by being his people if you take his name upon yourself and you don't live like him, like maybe you don't know his Ten Commandments, you, you bear it in vain. So, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. You, um, then this next one is not a you shall not. It says remember. I'm going to use sign language for this because it makes sense. You take a thought and you keep it. So remember. And for Sabbath day, I'm going to do your rest day. The rest day... And by keeping it holy, we worship him on that day, right? So remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. So remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy. The song will go slow, so you'll keep up. Then honor, I'm just going to go whoosh, your father and your mother. As two people are tolerated in the house, at least for a bit. So honor your father and your mother. Then it says, you shall not murder. So go, you shall not. We're going to stab somebody. Murder. You shall not. For commit adultery, I'm going to have you do a breaking of the heart because it's breaking oath. All right? 
So we make promises and covenants. Don't break them. So you shall not commit adultery. You shall not for steal. We're going to take some stuff. You shall not. We're going to give false witness. You're going to start to talk. And then you're going to go, that's a sign for a lie. You like cut under your head. So it's like speaking and lying. So you shall not bear false witness. And then it says, you shall not covet. Now, we already had steal, which would be a great sign for covet. So, this one will be a little tricky, and they say it twice in the, in the song. You shall not, I want you to look and want. So look at something and want. So you shall not covet. And I'll say it again. You shall not covet. That's two hands. I know that's kind of tricky, but it'll look fun when the kids do it. All right, let's see if we can do it with music. And like I said, there's a video, review it during the week, but I think this is one worth your time. So let's go ahead and start the music. Gesture, and you will panic as you try to keep up and follow along. What is the law of God stated in the Ten Commandments? you can go practice. Um, I'd encourage you. This is good for the kids to get down. This is good for the adults to get down. It is embarrassing when people talk to American Christians and ask them basic Bible knowledge, Christianity questions like, hey, what are the Ten Commandments? Most of them don't know anymore. Um, if the Old Testament was optional, God would have skipped to Jesus a lot sooner. You need these foundations to understand Jesus and understand the Gospel. I encourage you to memorize them.